today we are going to be attempting to eat everything that has been accumulating in our kitchen. Now that's a lot of food, so we're gonna get right into it today. I'm thinking about starting with some perishables, being these Buckholz brownies that just got sent to us. Excellent. Need to create a little bit of room. I'm thinking about starting with, yeah, that one, the peanut butter, the peanut butter uh, brownie, which has a fudge brownie. It's got peanut butter pie Oreos, peanut butter fudge, chocolate chips, and a Reese's cup. That sounds amazing. This thing is heavy too. It's like 12.5 ounces. Yeah, I think this one's like 13 ounces or something. We weighed them all out beforehand. This thing is the big bad boy of the group. That's a great cross section. Oh yeah. Buckles brownies. Getting a 10 out of 10 from me so far. The only thing better than brownies for us is blondies. And we have three of them. I'm gonna do this cinnamon one. All right, sounds good to me. That one was amazing though. The brownie wasn't too wasn't too thick, but it was like definitely had like a ton of butter in it. The, uh, the peanut butter fudge on the top, unbelievable. It was the perfect amount of like fudginess. Yeah, not overly fudgy that it was like dense and chewy. But, I don't know, it's perfect. Yeah, this thing's crazy though. This is actually a cinnamon flavored uh, blondie. It's got white chocolate chips, it's got Nutella in it, it's got cinnamon toast crunch churros, and I can't get through it. Oh, this looks, this looks at my alley. Oh, wow. Okay, that's some butter right there. Check this out. I'm vibing with cinnamon right now, so I'm excited. That cinnamon sugar on the top, exceptional. I love the flavors going on in that. Absolutely amazing, but I think that so far, I'm giving it to the peanut butter one. I think so too. All right. Yeah. I feel like we're getting spoiled by brownie companies lately. Yeah, seriously. No, was, what were you gonna say? I was just gonna say, again, thank you so much to Buckholz Brownies for actually sending these over. I was just on Instagram one day, these sick brownies came up, I liked the post because they looked amazing, and then immediately after, got a message from Buckholz Brownies offering to send us some stuff to try. And I am thrilled right now. So all the links will, uh, to their products, their website, their Instagram will be down in the description box. Please check them out, because as of right now, I'm being blown away by them. Yeah, that's way too cool. Now this, I think, is a white chocolate blondie. It's got white chocolate chips in it. Um, I believe it has peanut butter M&Ms. Not 100% sure about that, but check it out. I believe they made this for Memorial Day. Oh, that's the one. Wow. I can't believe that. This has Oreos inside of it too. I believe Graham Oreos. Wow. By the time this video comes out, I don't think that that flavor will be available, but if it's ever out again, you need to buy it. I did not expect that to be my favorite one, but my goodness, that was unbelievable. Yep, that blew me away. Okay, so last one. This last one is, I think it's a banana, like a banana pudding like type. And so it's got like a banana blondie, it's got walnuts, chocolate chips, and it's got like Nilla wafers and all that good stuff. This one feels a little bit lighter. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so here's the interior shot. Let's see how it is. That's like a cake meets a blondie. Mm -hmm. A little bit of banana bread vibes. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. That one was fun. A lot more cakey, but the milk chocolate chips and the walnuts inside that just go so well with the banana bread. Mm -hmm. I absolutely loved it. Um, do you want to do a ranking of the four different flavors? Yeah, I'll tell you what, what my opinion was. All right, let me know. I would go for the red, white, and blue, 
the peanut butter, that one, the mm -hmm. banana, and then the cinnamon. I did not expect it. I thought the churro was gonna come out on top, but I think it was a texture thing. There was something in there that had kind of a chew to it, and so it wasn't my favorite of the- oh, Still the, delicious. Yeah, still delicious, but it definitely went to the bottom of the list. I totally agree. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for, to Buckle's uh, Brownies for sending those over. Absolutely loved every single one. Make sure to check them out. Links will all be in the description box, but we've got to keep this video moving. Um, do you want to do the uh, ooey gooey bars that are left over from our twin eat off? Yeah, I'm very curious as to how they defrosted because they've been in our freezer since that video. All right. Now for anyone who's unfamiliar, these ooey gooey bars are a shortbread crust and like a vanilla topping, but on them, but we've had them on the channel so many times, I'm thinking that we spruce them up right from the get-go. We I really want to try this cinnamon toast crunch spread. I do too. We actually bought this for last week's video, but it didn't come in in time. And so here we are with a bunch of cinnamon toast crunch spread. Alright, let's try it on its own before we put it on this. Okay. Here's what it looks like. Which, by the way, we typically give baked goods away to like family members or other people. But if you watch that video, you know why everything was about to be expired. That might be one of the best spreads ever. I'm blown away right now. So creamy, such a nice cinnamon sugar flavor. Wow. I'm thinking of putting heat bits on there and then calling it a day. Sounds good to me. Now these toffee bits are actually left over from our cookie creations video that where we did like battled it out and made like epic cookies. That's what these toffee bits are from. That spread is outrageously mm -hmm. smooth. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a shot. Those three ingredients play outrageously well together. I can't believe how good that is. Holy cow. This is working so incredibly well. The cakiness of the shortbread, the gooiness of that topping, the creaminess of the cinnamon toast crunch bread with the crunch of the toffee bits. It is, there is so much going on here in the best way possible. I'm obsessed with this. We'll probably be the only people that ever put those three things together. And in that, for that, we are blessed. Yes, I am absolutely crazy about this stuff. I usually think that Cinnamon Toast Crunch products are just like a marketing scheme because it's just cinnamon sugar, but not that stuff. That stuff's amazing. Yeah. I'm thinking next up we continue in the creations vein though. We've got this peanut butter cut Ben & Jerry's. I'm thinking we make an ice cream sundae out of it using the white chocolate chips and maybe the fluff. Yeah, sounds good to me. Someone's probably already complaining that the ice cream's melting as it is. Mm -hmm. All right, peanut butter cup Ben & Jerry's, which is their highest calorie pint of ice cream, which is just peanut butter ice cream with peanut butter cups. Check it out, look how, look, look how many mixins there are in that. Okay, this is an extremely excessive use of white chocolate chips. Yeah, we, we yeah. You know. I, was, I was gonna say, we both bought a bag for our cookies creation video, not knowing that the, the, that the other bought a bag. So we had a lot. Yeah, this is more than half of a bag each, I think, in this one ice cream sundae. Check it out, this thing's hilarious. Such a ridiculous amount of white chocolate chips. Okay, let's give it a shot. It can't be bad. That is so, that's a lot. It sure was a lot, but we hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. And this is just the first of many creations we make throughout the video. Yeah, some with items that might look familiar from other videos, and then some with items that never made it to a video. Like if you go and look at the thumbnail for trying to eat a week's worth of food in one sitting, you will see this very pint of Ben & Jerry's. But we overpurchased for that video, and it's been in our freezer ever since. I feel like we got to this at the perfect time. It's not too cold. It's like the perfect, the perfect meltiness. Check this out though, I'll show it to you one more time. 
Ben and Jerry's already goes so heavy on the mix-ins. So I'm also adding mix-ins to their mix-ins. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. But it's fun. Now I am sure that we already have a number of people asking, but where's all your healthy food? Well, outside of these challenges, we primarily only eat fruits, vegetables, and cottage cheese for the most part. And so by the time we get to filming, our fridge is usually pretty run dry. And then we go to the grocery store after we're all recovered, repurchase our healthy food for the week, and so continues the cycle. That was a lot. But the fluff with the peanut butter cups was giving off fluff and vibes. Loving that. And that was a lot of white chocolate chips. Would probably be far too sweet for anybody else, but that is my kind of ice cream sundae a-okay. I was actually gonna say the very bottom of that bowl where it was mostly fluff, a little bit of ice cream, and a bunch of white chocolate chips may have been even too sweet for me, which is why I think going to something a little bit savory would be nice. I'm thinking about using the burrito wraps that we had from the Impossible video. Use those with maybe Philadelphia cream cheese, some cheddar cheese. How about some How about some dill pickle almonds in that for some crunch? I think so. Yeah, I think I'm gonna introduce one, the, the only rule to this challenge to the audience though, being that we were not allowed to purchase anything for this video. So everything that we use for creations or anything that we have had to have already been in our apartment when we started. So I'm gonna give them the rundown of the ingredients before we actually completely finish assembling this. So it's American cheese, and then we've got chive and onion Philadelphia cream cheese, and then we're going to be putting on this, these uh, spicy dill pickle almonds, uh, blue diamond almonds. All right. So this is already the most absurd wrap anybody's ever seen. This thing's hilarious. Very good idea. We brought in some open sauces we never eat. Have no idea how long this has been in our refrigerator, but honey mustard dressing kind of sounds like it would work with this. And Ken's honey mustard dressing was our favorite dressing growing up. We used to basically drink this stuff. And this definitely looks like something that we would have made coming home after high school because we used to make the stupidest looking wraps with a lot of honey mustard back after high school. Okay, let me show them this thing and I'll wrap it up and we'll take them down. You won't see this anywhere else on the internet, especially not from anyone who isn't stoned. FYI, we're not stoned. And while being stoned definitely does help increase your appetite, it does not help grow stomach capacity, so it doesn't help with food challenges even if we were. Let's give it a shot. That somehow works so well. It really does. Wow. I'm very impressed. The leftovers wrap. Excellent. Yes, these are wraps from our Impossible video and cheese from last week's breakfast video. But if you're wondering where the almonds came from, that was actually the salty relief snack that we brought to our Eating 100 American Candy Bars challenge. But we didn't end up diving into those. We only dive into the salty relief snacks if we absolutely have to. We feel like it just kind of makes the challenge last longer. It doesn't actually help with the sweets all that much. Yeah, we typically have something on hand in case we need it, but we prefer not to use it. We know Eric the Electric loves using salty snack relief items, but we are the Takedown Twins. We found what works for us. I can't believe I'm gonna say it, but that will not be the last time that I eat that. <laughs> I will definitely make that again. That somehow worked so incredibly well. Yeah, and I'm advocating for the use of whole almonds and wraps. It so was great. Surprisingly good texture. And because those have so much seasoning and they're so full of flavor, they actually did a lot for the flavor of the wrap, not just the texture. Yeah. But I'm thinking we have been uh, constructing a lot. Maybe we should just go to at least one item that we don't have to do anything for being candy. That sounds good to me. Putting ourselves to work today. Yeah, seriously. All right, I'm thinking about doing the Biscoff bar and then this half of a half pound Reese's cup. That's from the cookies creation video, isn't it? Yes, that was the, uh, that was the second cup from the, uh, the big, the fat American. We, we stuffed the entire half pound Reese's cup into that cookie, and that is the other one because they come in a pack of two. 
Okay, so this is one of the new Biscoff chocolate bars. It is a milk chocolate bar that is filled with crunchy Biscoff cookie butter. We bought multiple when they first came out because they looked good and we heard good things. We already tried one. It's good and it lives up to what we heard. Absolutely love it. The use of crunchy cookie butter in there is amazing. Yeah. Yes, that Biscoff bar is a 10 out of 10. If you're wondering why there's only half of a Reese's cup there, if it's a massive food challenge like this, that's the only time we're gonna eat during the day. But if it's a smaller video like our cookies creation video that that's left over from, we might be able to enjoy a few snacks before the day is done, which was the case here. If they would just make a white chocolate one now. I swear, that thing is an 80% crunchy Biscoff and 20% chocolate. They do not skimp on the filling of that. No, absolutely love it. However, it is very difficult to eat in large quantities. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> this thing's uh, actually, <laughs> this thing's funny. It feels like, a, like one of those like little mini cheesecake wedges. This is how much the actual person eats of a half pound Reese's cup. I don't relate. We've had about a hundred of those on the channel before, so most people already know that we absolutely love, we, all, we love anything Reese's. So many Reese's videos, I think that that is very clear. I'm thinking next though, I wanna hop back to this Cinnamon Toast Crunch spread because that was amazing, and I'm thinking that Ritz crackers would be a fun pairing, and then maybe tackling some of the cereal. Okay, all right, let's do that. Cinnamon Toast Crunch spread and then the Apple Pie Toast Crunch. Yeah. Me the uh, apple pie toast crunch. Yes, that is one entire jar of cinnamon toast crunch spread down. Technically two if you're considering things as totals. There you go. Actually, let me show them the box first and then I'll show them my things while you put it on top. Apple pie toast crunch, limited edition from last year. And of course, we're not huge cereal guys. And so of course we haven't gotten to it because we rarely ever have cereal on the chin. Yeah, every once in a while we'll buy a limited edition cereal just before it disappears from store shelves. And then it sits in our closet for us to never eat. Now check it out, here's the little Cinnamon Toast Crunch Ritz Cracker creation. I've got a good feeling about this. That is good. I'd give that a shot. If you ever find this cinnamon toast crunch spread at your local grocery store. Or you can order a six pack on Amazon like we did. We ended up giving two to some family members and that's why we have four in this video. Yeah, but I feel like we like cereal flavored foods more than we like cereal itself. But this apple pie toast crunch was really great as a textural element for another creation. I feel like that's how cereal is best. But we have been talking about doing an entire cereal video someday, but we have to have a really good reason to do it seeing we're not huge on cereal, like we've said a million times on this channel. But I think if this video gets 5,000 likes, we will do an entire cereal video, but that is really unrealistic for this channel. And so 5,000 people have to really want to see cereal that badly. One, that cinnamon toast crunch bread is not getting old. Two, that apple pie toast crunch seems to be a cereal they should have year round. Yeah, and that was a great way of using it. The crispy, the crunchy, and the creamy, and then the salty, and the sweet, and the buttery, it all really worked very well together. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, I agree. Um, in terms of everything that we have on the table, I'm thinking that at least this little box of everything that was in the freezer, with the exception of the cheese slices, should be finished. So let's split this last bagel from last week's video. Yes, no, I'm not refreezing a bagel twice. No. Let's put the last of these on it. Two slices of American cheese. You want cream cheese? Probably. Okay. We only have so many options. Second container of cream cheese is garlic and herb. I think I'm just gonna do a little bit more than half 
for this thing because I think that it will end up being a little bit too much putting the entire thing on. Yeah, I think I have a, just a little over half on there. Even for us. I'm gonna put some almonds on here again just to keep chipping away at them. I was able to get a little bit more of this if you wanted any. So essentially we took the wrap we made earlier, we deconstructed it, we put it on top of an everything bagel. That one looks a little bit more appealing. I imagine that people will enjoy the visual of that a little bit more than the burrito. Can I crush it? Let's see. I'm loving this combination of ingredients today. I don't care how gross it is. All the stoners are loving it too. So if you are new to the channel, then you should be aware that we are staking our claim as the biggest cream cheese fanatics on the planet. And we're pretty sure that at this point, most of our subscribers would agree with that. Probably, and recently the US went through a cream cheese shortage, and so we pretty much always have it on hand in our fridge just in case we need it for that week's video. I don't know what vessel worked better for that combination of ingredients. They were both really good, I know. Switch the carb though, and you have a completely new item. Yeah, it was. It definitely felt a bit different despite being nearly the same. All right, I've got two options. I'm thinking we either make some type of epic cereal bowl or we eat the Oreos. Ooh, tough call, but I'm filling up. I really got I really up. am. Let's do the cereal bowl. I'll tell you what though, I wish I had more Ben and Jerry's right now. All right, we good? All right, I'm thinking that we do the apple pie toast crunch. I'm thinking that we put toffee in there, and then maybe some uh, maybe some maple syrup. Okay. I think I can give myself a bit more cinnamon toast crunch with you. That looks pretty much identical to me. <laughs> All right, look at that though. The takedown twins complete an entire box of cereal in a video. Well, this is gonna be the way to do it. This is a completely outrageous and unacceptable way of eating a bowl of cereal. That's a lot of cheap maple syrup and toffee. We want to do M&M's. Sure, why not? All right, we've got white chocolate sharing cookie M&M's. Those are also, we're just knocking out our cookie creations, uh, cookie creations video. Thank you, we had so many leftover ingredients from that. Okay. So now we're looking at apple pie, toast crunch, toffee, maple syrup, and white chocolate sugar for the M&Ms, and milk. Are we just polishing off the whole bag? I guess so. Let's not give ourselves more work with figuring out calories. Just do the whole bag. Alrighty. Let's see you on the other side, guys. Yeah, you heard that right. We do out all of the math and all of the calories for our videos by hand. We don't just plug it into MyFitnessPal and hope that it's correct. Yeah, they're not like super rough estimates. We actually do everything out by package calories and by weight. So the information that you get in a Takedown Twins video is as close to accurate as we can get. So if we have a progress meter that says we're somewhere like 18.9% through a challenge, that is extremely close to where we are at. Yeah, so doing like the entire bag of M&Ms actually really saves us some time. We don't have to like weigh anything out after. Cereal takes forever to eat. Mm -hmm. I think I got a little overzealous with the pancake syrup because this, <coughs> if you would think that cereal is too sweet to begin with, you've never eaten it like this, let me tell you. That yes. with the M&Ms and the toffee bits, it's a lot. <laughs> At this point, you've seen us make many different creations throughout the video, so make sure to comment down below which one you would try if you had these ingredients on hand. I think for me, it might be the Ritz Crackers Cinnamon Toast Crunch Spread Apple Pie Toast Crunch Combo. I think mine would be the Ooey Gooey Bar Cinnamon Spread Toffee Bits. Yowzers. That might be the sweetest thing that we've made yet on this channel. And we have made a lot of sweet things on this channel, let me tell you. Wow. All right. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I was trying to swallow it. But it's so sweet. 
I literally don't want to swallow, and you better believe I'm making a graphic that says yowzers on it. <laughs> because yes, you chose to use that word to transition back in to us talking. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling it after that, man. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure how much further I'm making oh. it into this pantry. Yeah, I don't know if I'm proud with our performance or not yet. I know. But I don't, still don't think that I'm getting much further. Yeah, I have no idea how much we even brought, let alone how much we're going to get through. But I'm thinking because of that, what we just did, the completely unacceptable thing that we just did, I'm thinking I might just have to throw all of the rest of my savory things into one single wrap, and that... We'll see, we'll see if we get any further than that. That could be it. Okay, all that is left, we've it's completed our wraps. Nice. It's the rest of the garlic and herb cream cheese, and then we've got the rest of the dill pickle almonds. I'm not sure if they will all fit into this, but we'll, we'll see. But then we've got the last of the marinara and meatballs that we, <laughs> that we simmered in, uh, for, for our meatball subs in our impossible video, right? Mm-hmm. All right, let's see if this all works together. Uh, I don't have, uh, I don't have the best feeling, but I also don't have the highest standards, so. Clean spoon. This is kind of strange. Hopefully it's still good. You want this? I don't think I want to be showing people that. I don't think so. No, it's like something that you would want censored. Ready to give us a shot? It's the weirdest wrap. I'm not sure that meatball mixture is still good. What are you thinking? I don't think it is. We should have tried it before putting it in the wrap. It tastes a little sour. And that's not the almonds. I don't think eating this would be a good idea. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. All the rest of my almonds are in there. Well, I'll eat that and call it a day. Sounds good. Okay. Because this video is probably doing this. Nose dive. Carrot cake Oreos. By this point, you've probably already prompted to go look at the week's worth of food thumbnail. Funny stuff. Ready to do this? As ready as I'll ever be. Carrot right. cake Oreos. Let's do this. Yeah, I think that everyone has that one or two items in their fridge that went bad that they just don't know about yet, and it just so happens that we found ours on camera. But that's probably a really stupid thing on our end for actually thinking that it was gonna be good. Yeah, I think the marinara on its own probably would have been fine, but all the cheese and fake meat we added to it for that impossible video probably didn't help. But anyways, hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, please make sure to give it a like, especially if you wanna see that cereal challenge. Subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed and enjoy the rest. I think that's it for me, man. Oh. <clears throat> I have to say, we knew, but we knew before coming in here that it was impossible to eat everything that was in our kitchen. But I feel like we made a pretty good dent. I'm interested in seeing what percentage of the food that we had in our house we were able to actually get through. Well, I will say right there. Yeah, but that was it was a bit of fun, and uh, it was definitely a way of us saving some money and also being able to move forward with our normal takedowns without having so much food lingering over our head, knowing that they, it was already purchased and just sitting there. But no, we can't like donate it for any like social justice warriors that are gonna get mad at us that way we didn't just like we don't just donate all the food. These are already expired. These are already expired. Half of that's already expired. That's our Kit Kat collection of every U.S. Kit Kat that ever was, and half of that's expired. We can't give that away. So really, we are our own best. Uh, I don't know. We're, we're the best place to put it, I guess. Yep. Like Nate said, we knew that it was an impossible task, but it sounded like a fun video to make regardless. And. Uh, it does, uh, it does definitely <laughs> solidify the fact that we are no longer allowed to buy things unless they, we know exactly what video they're going in and when. <laughs> yeah, we get a little excited sometimes. Yeah, but I mean, like Nate said, this is actually our Kit Kat collection, which we were hoping not to dive into today because we will probably make 
a, a, just a completely separate video featuring that. And then there's baby carrots in here, which is literally <laughs> the only thing I will be eating for the next two days. I promise you that. <laughs> Anyways, that was a wild time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like. Please write something fun in the comment section. Uh, make sure to check out the brownie company that we had earlier. The links to them will be in the description box below. Do you have anything else you'd like to say? Nope. All right, well, we will see you again in the next video.